Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. This is Garden State Growing. I am Eric, and boy, do I have a treat for you today. Um, not only am I, do I have a treat, but I'm actually going to give you a recipe that I have never, ever, ever shared with anyone, no matter how much they begged. Um, it's my fried recipe. I do fried chicken with this. Um, I do fried fish with this is what we're going to do today. Uh, fried vegetables with this. It's an amazing uh, dish. I love the way it turns out. The coating, uh, let me just turn, the, okay that's down. Uh, the coating on it is just beautiful. Give me one second, my dog is scratching at the door. She wants to go out. Yes, Chance, you. I am your slave. All right, come on. Ready? Nope, she doesn't want to go out. She just wants a snack and she's not getting it. She does that to fool me to go to the door so she can get a snack. So where was I? Okay, so today we're going to do fried haddock. And uh, you're gonna love it. Try this recipe out. So do your chicken with it if you'd like. Uh, if you don't like fish, it's fine. Or you're vegetarian, you know, it's got eggs. Mm, sorry. You can do vegetables, okay? Um, so let me bring you over and show you the ingredients. It's so incredibly simple, um, and we'll get cooking. All right, so what we have here is a beautiful haddock filet. All right, what I'm just going to do, let me grab some paper towels. All right, so I got some paper towels and I'm just gonna pat it dry a little bit. Moisture is not your friend when it comes to frying, but we are doing more of a, like a batter type. And, all right, I just wanna go ahead and I wanna season my fish a little bit. Now I don't season fish as heavily as I do chicken. Chicken loves salt and it just absorbs it and is what gives chicken its flavor. I want to keep this, I want to taste the haddock. I want. I mean, we paid for a good piece of fish, you might as well want to, want to eat it. So I'm just going to give it uh, just a little bit on that side. A little bit on this side. Definitely going to do some fresh ground pepper. That's fine. Because I am going to season the flour too, so I don't want to over season the fish. I don't want it to be too salty or peppery. So what I have here, is, it's just a couple cups, I eyeballed it, of uh, all-purpose flour. And uh, well, I'm going to season that as well. I'm going to put a little bit more salt in there, maybe like a, a teaspoon, I don't know, a couple cranks. I, I really don't measure when I cook, I'm sorry. It's all about flavor, it's all about just uh, doing things to taste. I cook so often that uh, I just kind of eyeball a lot. Um, I'm going to put a decent amount of pepper in there. I want it to have a little bit of heat to it. And let me get a little bit of granulated garlic. This is going to add a lot of flavor. Now you could do you could do this in, in a lot of different ways. Say you were doing a, I don't know seafood. You could go with like an old bay uh, seasoning instead of like garlic and, and salt and pepper. I mean that's just pretty much my standard of, of what I do with that. But I mean, you could do Old Bay. You could play around with it and, and do whatever you want. So I'm just going to whisk this up a little bit, mix it all in. I'm not going to taste it to see if it's seasoned okay. I'm just going to hope that it is. All right. And then what I have in this bowl right here is about a cup, a cup and a half, of Frank's hot sauce but then I went and I put four eggs in it now it's the four eggs that's gonna make this batter the hot sauce is just gonna 
come in and bring so much flavor to this dish. You know, Frank's hot sauce, I put that shit on everything. It's going to add such a great little heat, uh, a beautiful vinegary taste. And then you have the egg, so I'm going to give this a good whisk. All right, and what I'm going to do with this haddock so it cooks nice is I'm going to cut it into, like, nuggets. That's, that's a good nugget right there. I kind of want them relatively right there. As it gets thicker, I'm going to try to make the pieces even smaller. So this one I'm going to divide up into three pieces. I made them about an inch and a half. These are going to cook well. I'm going to put the thick pieces together so that I, I know to cook them together. And these thinner pieces, these smaller pieces, I'll cook them in a batch by themselves because they're going to take a lot less time. And I can probably divide this in half. All right. All right. So let's get back to what we're doing here with the fish. All right, I got my... What, okay, I divided it up into thicker and thinner pieces. I can go over there. I'm going to take them, and I'm going to dredge them in flour. And I make a mess. That is why my wife hates me. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. All right, so now that they're dredged, let me get a plate to put these on. I should be more prepared, but I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't put a whole lot of thought into before I hit that record button. I just kind of hit it and, and go for it. I'm gonna take this out. And I'm going to throw them into the Franks. You're supposed to use one hand for the wet and then one hand for the dry. And then you don't make a big mess out of your fingers. You know, I don't care. I'll just rinse them under the sink. And dig through and get all your little nuggets. Coat them real well. All right, here we go. All right, I'll use two hands. All right, oh, that was it. But now I take it. I let it kind of drip off a little bit and I throw it back into the flour. That's the timer for the french fries in the oven. And then I'm gonna just take it and put it aside. Coat it up nice and well. I can hear the oil sizzling now. I can hear it popping from the little bits of water that was still in there that didn't boil off. Do a couple pieces at a time. This is really good. Make sure that you don't have two pieces stuck together, because if you do, they, they will not cook right, and then you'll have like a raw um, layer of flour on the inside between the two pieces. Raw. That fry finger, rah, dip them in oil. Yeah, I probably could. That'd be interesting. Don't try that at home. It, it'd be very stupid, and sometimes I am very stupid. Here, I'll change the camera a little bit so you can see. I'll do a different finger. I'll do my thumb. My thumb is good. Ready? Can't feel anything, but it's still not. <laughs> All right, don't do that at home. That's stupid. Only an idiot would do that, and I'm that idiot that'll do it so you don't have to. All right, it looks like my oil is definitely getting there. Now, it's better off to break this up into two batches. You don't ever want to overcrowd, especially when you're frying a pan. Uh, frying in a pan. You overcrowd, you're not going to get crispy. You're going to get soggy. Okay? You don't want that. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Let me bring you over so you can see. Yep, there you go. Oop. 
Not the raw one. Okay, that looks good. Make sure they're separate. Now, when when they're done, it's only going to take a couple minutes for these to fry. But when they're done, they're going to be a, a, a real nice golden brown. Now, the one thing that you got to remember about when you're frying, okay, is always remove whatever you're frying to um, degrees of lighterness than you would like. So what I mean is, if you want them a nice dark golden brown, bring them out while they're a little bit lighter than that dark golden brown because when you lay them out on your plate on your paper towel, they're gonna continue to cook and it's gonna naturally brown up by itself. That's a lot of big mistakes that people make when they're frying things is they take it out when they think, yes, that's how I'd like it. They go to drain it on a paper towel and then all of a sudden it get, becomes overcooked and a darker, crispier than you would like. So let me get my slotted spoon. I'm just gonna give these a little mix. Look how that's turning out already. Can you see that? Oops, yep, I'm dripping hot oil on the floor. Oh, get that back in there. Bring over my plate with paper towels on it. Throw some more on it. This doesn't look like enough. Excuse me for a second while I flip French fries. All right, they're getting there, but I still want them to be a little bit more brown. While that... I'll edit a lot of this out. Oh yeah, they're right where I want it. I, I know this camera's not gonna show the color really well, but it is right where I want it. And I know it's gonna darken up a little bit more. Maybe another 30 seconds. All right, that's it. I'm pulling them. Good frying temperature before I throw the other cold pieces of fish in here that's going to drop the oil temperature okay and I'm going to do two things the first thing I'm going to do while they're still hot while they're cooling down I'm going to sprinkle just a little salt on it I don't want them to be too salty and then I'm going to take a piece of tin foil these and that's going to help them to continue to uh, cook a little bit to brown up a little bit and keep them warm for when I do the second batch all right, so I'm going to turn that heat back up. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I took the time while the fish was cooking to clean up everything and let the french fries finish off. I've got the fish out. Take a look at that. I hope you can see that nice. It looks yellow to me on, on video, but I'm telling you, this is just a beautiful golden brown. I'm going to try to take some really nice pictures and really get in on the f how flaky and crispy this fish is. French fries, you know, they're back. French fries, they're good. Okay, what, what can I say? So let me show you how I'm going to plate this. Um, I will fully say can't forget that um i'll fully say i'm kind of shit at plating it's kind of really amateurish but i have a lot of fun with it so i'm gonna do it um plus it makes a nice little picture so 
Here I have um, Frank's hot sauce. I put it in this jug because I buy it in big gallons. So I have to put it in this. So it fits in my refrigerator, believe it or not. I know I want to eat that with Frank's hot sauce because I cooked that with Frank's hot sauce. And this is going to accentuate the flavors that came out in the fish. But normally, see, I got these nice black stripes. I don't know if you can see that on the dish running this way. So I can make a choice to do stripes this way or maybe a splash with a spoon into a swoosh or I could keep on going with the with the black stripes oh, I think that might look good but here this is what I'm gonna do I want to have a little fun with this so what if I do that and then maybe here we go something like that and then a, a bigger one over here on the side like that I don't know and then I'm gonna take it can you see and I'm just gonna oh that came out terrible hmm see what I mean when I say shit <laughs> maybe you know what Let's do a redo. Let's take this. Let's wash it off real quick. What I go through for you guys to make a, a dish look good. No, I do it for me and I do it for my wife because she looks at it and she goes, oh, that's so pretty. You know, I don't think my wife has ever said that to me once. She says, it tastes phenomenal. All right, so, I don't know. Let me dry it off a little better. All right, so let's do this again. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. Oops, I want them separated a little bit. And that there. And now I'm going to actually use a little bartender's trick that they do when they pour Guinness to get a nice head on top. All right, so I got my measuring cup. I'm gonna fill that with the hot sauce. I'm not gonna need a lot. And I'm gonna take the biggest spoon I got and let's see if we can get a nice trickle this time. All right. Ugh, still doesn't look great. But it looked a lot better than it did the last time. But let's see what happens when I remove the glasses. You know what? I think it would do a little bit more justice if you could actually see the print of the entire circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oops, I don't want to use that. I want to use this. That's what made the mistake the last time. All right, see, I'm going to drizzle it just right down the glass. I don't want it too heavy. Oh, yeah, this is looking a lot better. See, I'm actually kind of pouring it down the glass. And it's going down to the bottom. And now, when I remove that, it should leave a pretty nice of a clean circle. But I'm not going to lift it off just yet. I, I kind of want to do this with the other ones first. And again, I'm just going to pour it off the spoon right on top and let it drip down the sides of the little souffle cup I have there that I probably got from TGI Fridays. Don't sue me, bro. All right. Ooh, that was a little bit much. But instead of having like stripes on the place, I got like dots and puddles and, and, I'm, and I'm hoping that when I remove these cups, it doesn't just collapse in on it. I might have to just work real fast. I don't know. Oh, did you see that one slide? 
Oh. I don't like that either. No. It just looks like uh, a Rorschach painting. Uh, it looks like an angry cat or something stupid. All right. Round three. All right. For this one, I'm taking a completely different approach. I'm still going to go with the glasses. There goes that one. This one here, I learned. You can't put it up too much inside the, the wall or else it will just slide down. We're going to do this one. The bartender trick did not work. So I'm going to, let's see if this works. Ha ha ha, basting brush, plastic, nice little bristles. Let's see what I can do with this. See, that one slid already. Here's what I'm going to do. Kind of like that. And that. Looks like third time is the charm. Just, ah, uh, oh, that's fine. A little touch up. It's just like painting, you know? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna spiral these out a little bit. I hope people see what I'm seeing. Kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know. Galaxy something or other. I don't know. It looks pretty good. I'm going to just take it from there. And then may maybe, matter of fact, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little splash right in the middle. I'll do smaller for this one. Right in the middle. Right. Ooh, that was a lot. All right. And then I'm going to take an appropriate size nugget. It's definitely not going to be enough, so. Hmm. Oh. Looks like a pile of fried fish. Doesn't look super great. Like I said, I'm shit at plating. And then, you know what? I think I'm just going to do a light. Mm hmm. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can get you on a zoom on that. I don't know how to zoom on this thing. Here we go, right? No, that's brightness. Ooh, that makes it look a lot better right there. All right, you know what? I'll just bring the plate up to you. What do you think? I am going to take some pictures and I'll show you them. I don't know. Looks good. How does it taste? Oh, do you hear that crunch? Mm. Mm. See that moist, nice, wet, flaky fish? Oh, this is really good. Mmm. And just enough heat. I'm not a big spice guy. But this is great.
All right, let me take some pictures. And if you like this content, you want to see more of it, go to my uh, Facebook, you know, uh, Garden State Growing on Facebook. And my website, come, I mean, my uh, YouTube channel coming out next. At the end of this month, Garden State Growing on YouTube. I'm sorry, I'm trying to just swallow this delicious piece of fish. Ah, so good. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you want to get notified every time a video like this does come up. Just like I said in Garden State Growing, what is the use of growing all these vegetables and all this fruit and everything that you do if you can't cook it? I know there are no vegetables in this. It is completely fried. That's because it's the middle of March and my shit is not growing yet. So, you get fried fish and it's delicious and it was a recipe I never shared with anybody. So, there you go. You're welcome. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Good night. One day I'm going to die. Well, How was it, girl? Enjoy falling asleep. It's quite a process, isn't it? Cut down to sheep. Mm. Thanks once again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right.